What's up guys? Got us another garage day in the house. Going to be working on the 2019 KTM 250 XC. Little oil change, little filter cleaning. Get her back in business and ready to ride. Haven't been in the woods in a while. Kind of getting anxious to get out there. So let's do this. Alright, so we got to lay him down. Let him take a little nappy nap. Because KTM can't figure out to put the drain bolt for the oil in the bottom of the cases. I, I don't know why that's so hard. Seems to make sense to me. But yeah, we're just going to stand her up. We got our special tube in there so we can drain her out. Don't forget to put your kickstand down. And now, we drain. Gonna grab a wrench real quick. A little bit up close and personal. Fluid looks clean. Doesn't have that much time on it. I changed my oil way too much, honestly, but. That filter needs some work. <laughs> I don't usually ever let them get like that. I don't know, apparently I did this time. KTM needs some TLC. Fresh graphics kit. It's money, looks good. But yeah, we need to do some work. Try to get this thing ready to race. I think I'm just gonna race Mag 7 this year. I don't know, we'll find out. Subject to change. Next weekend as the AMA West Coast scrambles up at John's Peak. And I'm not planning on doing it, honestly. I might go up on the dual sport just to uh, go up and chat with the boys, see who's racing, see who's doing what. But yeah, three and a half hours, that's too much torture for me right now. Haven't been in the woods for a while. Um, thought maybe I'd get out this weekend, but it's not looking like that's gonna happen. So I don't know, we'll just play it by ear. Oh, and say hello to the new graphics kit from Factory Backing. I love it, looks good. Keeping the pumpkin looking like a pumpkin. And of course, we did warm this up before we started. Get that oil warm. Get some of that stuff that's floating around in there back up and suspended in the oil so it'll drain out. We just took off the filler cap so that we can help encourage the oil to flow out and not have any vacuum. Yeah, we definitely got some beautiful graphics coming out. I'm sure this is blown out. But yeah, bike looking good. It is way too bright out here. It's a little better. Yeah, trying to keep them sponsors happy. Dip her over a little bit here. Make sure we're getting all that oil. She's leaking a little bit, probably because I haven't changed the crush washer in this thing like in forever. You know the little copper washer that comes with your drain bolt? That you're supposed to change after every every oil drain. Yeah, I've never changed it. Maybe once. But I don't think so. So we're going to change that and see if we can make her quit leaking. That'd be awesome. All right, we'll get to that. Okay, so real quick, we're going to put the plug back in this guy so it doesn't get too crazy out here. Grab a rag leaking all over the place. Stand oil in my driveway. I know, that's what driveways are for, right? Lay her back down on her side. So that we can easily get that. This guy right here. 
Should just spin right on out of here. Well, we'll drain the rest of this first. And we'll put the plug back in. This is hard to do one handed. Pull this guy out of here. Let her sit right there for now. Make sure that there's nothing sitting on that drain bolt. And we'll put that thing back in. Fresh drain bolt, fresh washer. Tweaker in there, get a thread started or so. Switch over to the tool. Vera, German quality. Love it. These don't have to be very tight. Good enough. So I'll end up pulling the skid plate, cleaning up all the oil off of it after we get it changed filled back up, see if we can't figure out where that's coming from. Make sure that that's going to take care of it because it's making a mess and I don't like that. Do not make messes, senor. Let's get this thing pushed back in the shop. this thing back in here. We'll finish her up, get her back on a stand. Go cool from there. Motor X for the win. Finish this thing off. Oh yeah, 15 weight 50, approximately 25 ounces. That's what I've come up with for how much oil to add to these KTMs, at least on my 19250XC. Don't quote me on that, do your own research, because I am certainly not gonna be responsible for somebody adding too much or not enough oil to their scooters. Okay, oil's in, put the cap back on. Make sure we don't spill any out of here. So unfortunately, KTM, the other thing they do is they don't give you a sight glass. You're supposed to pull this bolt right here and fill it up to there. That's how I've come up with how much oil to add to my bike. I don't know if it's perfectly right. It depends on how level your bike is, but it's worked very well for me. So anyhow, I think we're gonna clean out this filter. Boom, and then go from there. All right, air filter time. So I usually do all my bikes at the same time that have been ridden. And I run no toil on my filters. And it's worked flawlessly, so I'll continue to run no toil until I have a reason not to. So I throw them in the washing machine. Again, I'll tell the old lady. Like I said, while we're at it, we'll do the 24KX. This will be actually its first filter change, so not really sure what to expect here. Looks pretty clean. So anyhow, that's it for this one, guys. Um, we're gonna sign out. I got other things to do today. We still have a lot of work to do here in the garage, but just not going to happen today. Maybe tomorrow, maybe try to get a ride in, maybe even a dual sport ride tomorrow. We'll, we'll see how, how the day plays out. But uh, that's it for this one. So thanks for watching, and until the next one, I'm out.